What's up guys, Nick here for Cream City Music and welcome back to High Gain. Today we're taking a look at the Ibanez RG421EX. This RG shaped killer comes in at a ridiculous price. The price to performance here is outstanding. As of the date of this video, this guitar comes in brand new at $349. A ridiculous deal for the amount of guitar you get for that price. Center stage is that transparent crimson fade. It's a matte finish and the thing looks super, super nice. Straight up, I love this guitar. Up until a couple years ago, me personally, I've never had a guitar that was more than $500. And for that matter, that I even bought new. This guitar comes in new at $349 and taking into consideration the guitars I already have on my rack, I would absolutely love to have this in my arsenal. It plays nice, feels nice, it looks good, and it's super cheap. But I'm gushing, and I know that's not super typical for this series, but you know, hey, when the mood strikes, why don't I clean this up and let's get into the details. But first, and you know how this goes, if you dig this channel, if you dig this series, we'd really love it if you gave this video a like, and if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified when we drop new content. So why don't we dig into how much guitar you're getting for the price. It has that classic Ibanez RG shape, comes in that beautiful transparent crimson fade. It's a matte finish, which I'm a huge fan of. The neck is a bolt-on, it's maple, it's a wizard three shape, 25 and a half inches in scale, 15.7 inch neck radius, 24 jumbo frets, and is 1.692 inches wide at the nut. The bridge is an Ibanez F106, it's a fixed bridge, and up at the top it has Ibanez tuners. This guitar is loaded with a pair of Ibanez quantum humbuckers, both in the neck and the bridge. It's wired up with a five-way blade selector switch and one master, one volume knob. As I've already made it overwhelmingly obvious, it's absolutely worth the price. A quick note about the Helix tone I used in this video, the signal chain is as follows. Inside of Helix, the first block I'm using is a Scream 808, which of course is modeled after the Ibanez Tube Screamer. That is then being fed into the Line 6 Badunk Amp model, which is then going into a 4x12 Uber T75, which is a model of a 4x12 Uber Shaw with T75 speakers, which is being mic'd with a 409 Dynamic, which is modeled after the Sennheiser MD409. But why don't I shut up and let's listen to it in a full mix. So there you have it. This one's gonna be hard to get back, quite honestly. And uh, I don't know, I might not. I mean, I'm going to, because I'm not a thief, but you know what I mean. It's hyperbole, I'm playing it up a little bit. Anyway, check this guitar out. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more information on this bad boy or guitars like it, head to creamcitymusic.com, or of course, if you're in the neighborhood, stop into the showroom. All the information you need to know 
will be down in the description below. I've been Nick for Cream City Music, and you've been watching High Gain.